Randy here. Uh, this is just another quick video we're going to do on the vent systems on the Holly. It's something that can make a lot of difference, especially if you're, you're racing a dirt race car that with a bumpy track or off-road or mud bogging, hill climbing, anything that shakes the car and the carburetor around a lot. Let me show you something real here. I've got these just about all the way off. All right. This is the actual vent hole to the atmosphere. This is the actual vent in the carburetor. What it does, if this wasn't in there, basically it would be coming right through. The fuel would be coming right through. And when it got in a hole and it rocked hard, it'll come right up over this vent tube here. It'll just come right over both of them. Now, there's several ways we can do this. We put a vent. These come in some holly. Some of them they don't. Uh, quick fuel sells them. That's just press in and the gasket holds in. It's a very good little vent. It's a little shorter. But you just want it where when the fuel sloshes back up that it don't try to go into the vent hole and come up and drop into the carburetor. So what we want to do is put one of these vent whistles in here. Like I say, QFT has a great, quick fuel technology has a great little vent. That, that just pushes in, several of them do, and then the gasket just pushes on and holds it in, holds, holds the vent tube in. So that will take care of usually the front, because if you look how this vent sitting in here, here's the fuel in the fuel bowl, it's putting the vent almost all the way to the front, so it just about, it just about eliminates the fuel coming out of the top of the vent hole. Now the secondary, I recommend some of these, you can put a vent whistle in, like on the double pumpers of 4150s, but the 4160s, some of them you can't. They don't, some of them they don't make it. But you can add a vent tube. You can buy it from carburetor shops. And if it's not tapered off like it is here where the fuel will tend to go out of the carburetor, taper it a little bit on your grinder and clean it up. But push it in there. Make sure it's a good, either a, you know, a press fit, a nice snug press fit, or put you a little bit of a, maybe some a JB Weld. If it's not a real tight fit, let it set for two or three days and try to get it up to about the height of the front bowl. That's usually a good height. You know, maybe a, a maybe an inch higher. And that will tend to help the fuel fit sloshing to keep it in there and not come over the bowl and taper it also, just like they do from the factory. Taper it off. And this helps in especially in in dirt track racing. This can make a lot of difference. Sometimes you have to run the actual fuel level a hair low on if it's a real bumpy track. Just bring it down just a hair below the actual sight plug. And then run your vent extension and usually you're done. You're, you're there. And it'll make a lot of difference. I mean a bunch of difference. When you're going into a corner and hit a hole, a lot of times it'll make the carburetor sit there and blubber the engine and it'll sit there and you have to play with the gas to get it back going and this pretty much eliminated. All right guys I know this is another short video this is just a real quick short video that come right to the point and these tubes you can find them if you look you can find them at the carburetor shops and stuff and they'll sell them to you and you have to modify and put them in yourself and all this stuff now is on your own risk I can't I'm just trying to give you the information out there. I don't want nobody getting hurt. I, it's a disclaimer as far as we're just giving you information. And uh, again, guys, this is Randy, and I think this is going to really help you if you're doing a lot of moving around. Even on drag cars, it helps. So, uh, especially on bumpy tracks. But anyway, that's all I've got for you. And uh, y'all have a good day. I hope, uh, hope you enjoy this video. And please, uh, always, guys, please like and subscribe. And if you enjoy the video, don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you'll know you'll get all the videos that we shoot. We're going to try to shoot them hopefully every day. Good night.